Hi guys, Beauty Boy here, and welcome back to another video. Well, it's been a while, but I'm back. Today, Stun and Albion are at the National Stadium to take on Queen's Park. Well, I've got this theory, but the only reason Stun and Albion can come here is if we get into a Scottish Cup final, all we're in the same league as Queen's Park, which is good. Uh, well, a few running results for Stun and Albion, a 1 0 defeat in Cove, a uh, 3 0 win against Annan. Uh, last couple, couple of weeks ago, Josh Peters came back from injury, think sixth minute winner up in Elgin. Last week was pretty disappointing, 2-2 two -two at half time. Then it goes from Paul McManus and Lewis McMinn, the goalkeeper, made it 4-2 to Breakin last week, which is our first defeat uh, since Cove away. Well, so we're here at the National Stadium, nice stadium. Not as nice as Ford Bank though. My score prediction today is going to be nil nil. I know the last time I came here it was nil nil, but I'm going to go with that again. So uh, yeah, so then I'll be taking on Queen's Park today. I wonder be knows. And here are today's teams, starting with Stirling Albion. Number one, Blair Curry. Number five, Paul McLean. Three, James Craney. Eleven, Paul Willis. Two, Ross McGeechee. 6 Jordan McGregor 7 Danny Jordan 8 4 Kevin Nicholl 9 Sean Heaver 8 Dylan Bikey 10 Dylan Markin Subs uh, No sorry Queen's Park 1 William Muir 2 Ryan Finney 3 Kieran Summers 4 Cameron Foy That's a nice name Especially Cameron 5 Nicholas Jameson 6 Cameron Clark Another Cameron 7 Jeffrey Luderian 8 Luke Main, number 9, Salim Kudir Asia, former Vino, 10, David Galt, 11, Thomas Block. Today's referee is Barry Cook, this is by George King and Scott Anderson. Uh, ball into the box. Uh, Paul McLean in behind the defender. Right, shoves in. Blair Curry gathers the ball. Was that a penalty? Queen's hey. Park fans think it was. But the referee didn't think it was, wasn't given. Still remains no bell. Put it in there. Midway through the first half, nil nil. It's been such a great game. That's sarcasm, by the way. Well, I think the biggest chance would be Queen's Park from a corner. Put it, Benny dived, hit the bar. Yep, hit the bar. Direct my corner. The referee, I think, is annoying the Queen's Park fans a wee bit. Blair Curry's pulled his hamstring, he's had to go off, and it's now 17 Cammy Benny on the pitch. So, midway through the first half, it's Queen's Park nil, so I'll be in there. Good spell of pressure by Stunning Albion. A few balls into the box. Mackin get on the end of them. None of them converted though, but still remains 0 0. Albion on top. Referee, play that one. Now that's your phone.
One nil, Dylan Markin. And a ball across from Lee Sean Riva. Puts it into the net. Goalie fumbles. One nil, Albion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Dylan Bike, he got the ball. You know, Sean Heat, ball across from Nickel down to left hand side. Played it inside. And Dylan Bike hits, a, hits one off the post with a left foot. But um, a couple of minutes later, Dylan Mackin, right? You know, you had this like six or seven yards from the post in the six yard box. Mackin from the edge of the box managed to put it to the left at the edge of the six yard box, which is outside. So the rest of it still remains one them to the album. It's half time, Stirling Albion 1, Queen's Park Hill. Really? Um, so a goal from Dylan Mackin is different the teams. So Queen's Park had a couple of penalty shouts and uh, publicly had to clear a shot off the line. Shot right at the end of the first half, Queen's Park claiming there was a goal. Don't think it was. Both teams getting a bit agitated with the referee, but I think he's been fair. And uh, I think because Bikey went down and he didn't get the penalty, that's because of a big penalty claim up there and he didn't give it. So, yep, still remains 1 0 at half time. It's been a bit of a dire game so far. Uh, I think my score prediction 1 1 is going to be quite good. Unless Stirling Albion score another. Well, half time, it's Bart 0, Stirling Albion 1. Still 1-0 to the Albion. More pressure from the Albion. Oh, no. oh. And I'll be put on the pressure Dylan Mackin, Sean Eva, and Dylan Bikey have always been really well this afternoon. Well to forget Paul Willis as well. The front four. Who needs Messi, Griezmann, Suarez and uh, De Jong? We've got We've got those four players. Well, still 1 0, still an Albion on top with 50 minutes to go. I can't see uh, Queen's Park getting a goal, but I uh, need to respect the orders in here. And there's no atmosphere at this game whatsoever. Queen's Park, come back and equalise. Ball into the box, take the goal. Just a wee short one. Queen's Park. Number two, Ryan Finney. Ryan Finney with the goal. Just took it in, left foot shot to the left hand side of Cammy Binney. Queen's Park equalise.
Red card, James Kearney. Fantastic. Was it watching? But a red card. Uh, free kick on the other side of the pitch. 90th minute, 1-1. Please don't put us through this, Star Alvin. Please do not put us through this. It's all over at 1 1. Sterling Alvey take a point in Glasgow. Ryan Finney with the, the Queen's Park equaliser. 10 minutes from time. Do you know how hard it was at the end of the game? James Craney set off. Queen's Park pressure. No time 1 1. But Alvey, man of the match, has got to be the number 9 Sean Heaver. He played so well today. Just taking on players for fun. Uh, remember the Queen's Park uh, Burn Supper Night is on the 15th of February. It's an odd choice of date. But um, next week we're home to Edinburgh City uh, at Fourth Bank and uh, full time Sterling Albion 1, Queen's Part 1. Thanks for watching. Bye.